Hello, my dear Geminis. Sorry for shaking the camera. It's right above my head. This is uh, your October 2022 monthly predictions. And we will be following the usual format. For those of you who are new here, I will be explaining it as I always do. So you'll find out. So to begin with, you're going to take out one card from the Moonology deck for your overarching energy of the month of October. And you get, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. All right. We're going to be using the Ethereal Vision Staros this month. We're going to take out one card each for your general outlook, love, romance and relationships, career and finances as well as spiritual growth. You get justice as your general outlook, which is beautiful. Two of wands for your love, romance and relationships. Strength for your career and finances. And the beautiful star energy for your spiritual growth beautiful we'll take out one card from the Lenormand deck to further amplify and or clarify your uh, overarching energy and you get garden And we will take out two cards from the tea leaf tarot and you get firecracker with excitement and I'll take out one more And you get desk pay attention to your work all right so my dear Gemini's let's start with your uh, basic reading before I take out advice cards and the rest of it all right so to begin with you get look at the bigger picture all right so whichever area in your life it is for each of you it will be different there will come a time where either you have to make a decision or you uh, you know have to um, deal with certain people or certain situation wherein if you just look at it as it is you will not get clarity in order to get clarity you may have to zoom out and look at the larger picture so that if you're taking a decision or even if you are um, making a judgment you know um, about a certain person speaking to you in a certain way don't just make your um, judgment based on that particular instance you're being asked to look at the bigger picture because you're going to get a lot more clarity and better answers all right so whichever area in your life it is wherever you come across whichever um, a dilemma or some sort of um, a place where you need clarity just uh, for that brief period dissociate uh, yourself from whatever is happening and zoom out and see the whole thing in the whole totality and then you'll find you get a lot more clarity and answers with this garden card here uh, it could mean that you will have some sort of uh, get-togethers uh, possibly with people and you you may have a lot of outdoor activity with people wherein uh, it'll not just be a small crowd but a larger number of people will have some sort of gathering during this time all right and maybe during this time you have some sort of an altercation or you come across someone who may not appeal to you but you're being asked to just 
before you make that decision or whatever it is just uh, look at it once again by detaching uh, from the situation and zooming out all right and seeing the larger picture this is what you're being told for a general outlook you get justice so whichever area it is in your life you are going to be fair and the universe is going to be fair with you you know usually you say life isn't fair um, you know it should be but it isn't and that's a fact but in your case, in the month of October, things are going to be extremely fair for you. And if you have been wrong before, those things are going to be righted now. And if you have wronged someone before, you're going to step up and uh, take blame for whatever it is and apologize and make things okay. But basically, in your world, there's going to be a lot of peace around fairness and justness. All right. <clears throat> However... <clears throat> you're also being asked to pay attention to your work and there is a lot of excitement so it's possible that in some area of your life uh, wherein you're very comfortable you haven't checked and uh, you know see justice card can also talk about cases and courtroom cases and uh, things like that so in order to avoid um, uh, you know things getting mess, messed up later maybe you, if you are uh, someone who's working and you know you usually just you have this great memory and you keep everything in your mind but you're being asked to actually put things down and be a little more meticulous about your things so that later on um, things don't come to haunt you or, or things don't uh, go amiss all right so just uh, do a recheck of whatever you're doing, especially when you're signing something or, uh, you know, signing some document or putting your pen to paper. All right. Just uh, do a double check. There is going to be a lot of excitement as well during this month. Uh, maybe this gathering or maybe something else you will see. Uh, now for your love, romance and relationships, you get the two of wands for a lot. Many of you. Uh, you have reached a place where you have to make a decision. Maybe um, deciding between two people, maybe deciding between your job, you know, should I give up my job in order to be with this person? Should they give up their job to be with me? How will we uh, work things out? For some of you, it's going to be a long distance relationship. All right. For still, still others, um, there are a few. Just looking at this card, there is someone who you're waiting for. Some of you are waiting for someone to come in during this time. But for a lot of you, it's got to, uh, you know, it comes down to making a decision. And again, even for this, use your discernment. Look at the larger picture for getting answers. If you're worried about, should I choose A or B? Should I do this or that? Whatever it is that you're thinking about, zoom out. Take a look at the larger picture before you make your decision. For those of you who are single, Again, you will be uh, spoiled uh, for choices, at least between two people. Um, and for others of you, maybe you, you know, when you're on a holiday or somewhere by the water, you might find um, this wonderful person who might spark your interest. All right. There may be a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius does not have to be. And for those of you who are um, already in a committed relationship or marriage, um, maybe there is a lot of travel involved or again, maybe one of you are offered a job and you're uh, deciding uh, how to go about it. So it's a decision making time for all of you. OK, um, as far as your love and romance and relationships are concerned for your career and finances, you get the strength card, which is the card of Leo. This is a very positive card, all right. And with this infinity symbol, whatever is going to happen as far as your career is uh, concerned at this time is something fated, meant to happen, all right. And it's going to be something which is rewarding. With this justice card here as the general outlook, something is coming your way, and uh, maybe it needs you to show a whole lot of strength to do. Maybe you're going to get a whole lot of work piled on at once. All right. And your first 
uh, reaction may be to just say, no, this is too much, I can't do it. But you're being asked to just tap into that inner strength of yours and that uh, wonderful um, reservoir of knowledge that you are. Tap into it and you can get things done. Look at the larger picture. This month, your focus is to not jump to any conclusion without looking at the whatever it is in totality. Take your time, use your discernment, see the larger picture before you take a decision because beautiful things are coming your way in this uh, month of October. As it is, you're a Gemini and um, who's watching this and you're, air, you're an air sign. So the month of um, Libra as well as the month uh, of Aquarius, which is Jan, Feb and uh, September, October is going to be very wonderful uh, for you being an air sign yourself. All right. So great things are going to come your way. You're just being asked to be patient, to look at things uh, from a higher perspective before you uh, jump to conclusions or make decisions or take decisions or whichever way it is. All right. Uh, so this is something beautiful as far as your career is concerned. Something is coming your way which may overwhelm you first, but you'll find your way around it and it will be very rewarding. All right. Last but not the least, you get the beautiful star card, which is the card of Aquarius. So you have Aquarius, Libra and uh, Leo here strongly in your reading. Now, as far as your spiritual growth is concerned, for those of you who are following esoteric sciences like astrology, tarot reading, any of the other divination, if you are on the net, you are going to be recognized at this time. All right. Uh, if you have a YouTube channel or if you are writing, if you're a blogger or, you know, if you have or if you're planning to publish a book, whatever it is, you're going to have worldwide audience. This is for those of you who are in esoteric uh, sciences, you know, who, uh, who are into spiritual, uh, whatever you do as far as spirituality is concerned it is something that is going to catch the attention of a lot many people all right the star card is usually look the star card as well as the world card these are th things when you, you look at the internet and things um, wherein you are seen the star card is when you are seen for your originality and your authenticity and uh, this uh, is highlighted during this time for others of you uh, you're going to see things very differently and you're going to be tapped into yourself. Whatever answers you're looking for, it's going to come from within and it is encouraging you to be honest to who you are. All right. So this is a very beautiful reading, my dear Geminis. And now let's take out some advice cards for you. We'll first take out one card from the Soul uh, Journey Oracle. And you get envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. All right. And from your daily crystal inspiration, you get. Malachite, it's time to transform. Beautiful. So, my dear Geminis, from these two cards here, I think these are uh, closely related to look at the bigger picture. It's possible that for everything that you've ever done in your life, for all this uh, things that you've achieved in your life, you've put in a lot of effort and with your, um, you know, craving to learn more and to understand more you uh, you are actually the geeks of this zodiac you have so much of knowledge uh, with you over everything starting from trivia to something really big you like to read you like to um, you know um, learn and you also like to teach whatever you've learned you like to and that's why with this card cross pollination you learn a lot you teach a lot and that's how it works for you 
now there's a tendency for you to also see uh, uh, you know if you've put in a lot of effort to get all this knowledge you expect people to do the same thing so with this um, if you find that people are getting something easy it's very easy for you to fall prey into the fact that you know i had to do so much more before i got there or look at how much this person this person hardly put in effort and they've got this so you being asked to look at the bigger picture all right here every uh, during this month of october especially whatever you comes your way you're being asked to and this is the greatest thing you're going to transform about yourself my dear gemini's is not to jump into conclusions as soon as something comes your way you're going to just stop and you're going to weigh it by zooming out by taking your time by seeing the other person's perspective by seeing all the perspectives and you have that kind of um, your brain is such that you will be able to do it with ease all you need is some patience all right and we hope that this month of october you'll be able to bring patience into your life and transform your life in a big way all right now if there's any time specific question on your mind as to when you're going to get get what you're going to get we're going to take out one month from here oh, okay this one wanted to come out april ouch i'm so sorry shaking your camera this way it's right above my head and i was trying to rescue this card so april so any time between now and april whatever you're looking for is going to come to you and in the month of october where is it that you're going to see maximum changes and you get love all right so for this two of wands here that decision is going to be made or maybe during the month of october you have no choice but to make that decision to move forward all right so that's what's going to happen now last but not the least i'm going to pull out one card from the angel and answers so if there's any pressing question on your mind for which you're waiting for an answer um, the angels are getting ready to give you an answer and you get within the next few months all right so maybe you don't have to wait all the way up to april <laughs> maybe by the in a few months time you're going to get answers for whatever you're looking for all right so with that we come to the end of your reading my dear gemini's it it's looking beautiful for you all you have to do is bring some patience into your life and look at the bigger picture before uh, you know making any decision apart from that i think you're going to have a wonderful wonderful october and i'll see you at the end of october or beginning of november with your november predictions and till then have a wonderful libra season all right bye bye